If you're looking for a laptop for 3D modeling, this is the best time of year to buy. We're gonna see some of the best sales and I'm gonna show you the most common laptops that go on sale as well as how to pick the right laptop for 3D modeling, such as Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya, PTC Creo, and SolidWorks, which SolidWorks is actually quite a bit different from selecting a laptop for the other software. So make sure you hang on to this video so you can get the right laptop for your needs. First and foremost, we're gonna jump into the budget-friendly section. The HP Victus is the first laptop on the lineup. And with the RTX 3050 Ti, it does good in most 3D modeling softwares. However, in SolidWorks, it kind of lags behind with the RTX 3050 Ti. But keep in mind that you cannot get that much more performance by going up to an RTX 3080 Ti. The thing with SolidWorks is it appreciates workstation GPU Used from NVIDIA, like the A2000, the A3000, the A5000, and it likes AMD Radeon GPUs. We'll discuss that a little bit more in a little bit, but I just wanted to put that in there right off the bat so you kind of know, hey, if I'm looking for SolidWorks, I should wait till the end of the video to get more definition and explanation on the SolidWorks genre. Okay, next up on the lineup is the i5-12500H Dell Gaming G15. This also comes in the i7-12700H with an RTX 3050 or an RTX 3060. Great budget-friendly laptops, these first two. However, the best bang for buck, I think, on this slide is gonna be the Lenovo Legion 5. I think it has a fantastic performance with the Ryzen 7 6800H. If you get it with an RTX 3060, it's gonna be the sweet spot for 3D modeling. Great performance. Great price point, solid 16 inch screen. You really can't beat it. Now the Acer Swift X is a good pick. It has an RTX 3050 Ti, dedicated GPU, but it has a low TDP processor, the i7-1260P. So it can reach peaks of high frequency. However, it can't hold them as long. So when a 3D modeling software that needs a lot of performance and it needs it continually, this laptop kind of falls behind. So I would say this laptop is good if you do a little bit of 3D modeling, not a lot. The Asus Republic of Gamer Flow X13 also has an RTX 30 Ti. However, it has an H series processor with the Ryzen 9 6900HS, which makes, it, which makes it a better contender for a thin and light laptop. As you can see here, I have both the X13 and the Acer Swift X on the table. You can see that they're both thin and light laptops. However, you're going to get more performance out of the X13 and you're also going to get better battery life. So that's why I think the X13 would be my pick between those two laptops and they're near the same price point, especially when you get a good sale on the X13. You really can't beat it for its on-the-go friendliness, thin and light, great battery life, and solid performance. So Lenovo sent over these three Lenovo Legion 5 Pros, and as soon as we hit 100,000 subscribers, we're going to kick off a giveaway to celebrate passing the 100,000 subscriber mark. The faster we get there, the sooner the giveaway is coming your way. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, share this video, and drop a comment of how you would use a Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. Now next up on the list is going to be the HP Omen. This is where we're getting into more powerful laptops for 3D modeling. We're looking at the i7-12700H with the RTX 3060. I think that is the better laptop than the Ryzen version because it just has better performance inside of 3D modeling programs. Now one of the best bang for buck laptops for 3D modeling is gonna be the Asus Zephyrus G14. This thing with the RX 6700S is Fantastic. Comes in at around $1,649 retail, and I usually see it all the way down to around $1,300 on sale. So keep an eye out for that one. You can't beat it. I'm going to put links in the description below for all the laptops I'm discussing here in this video. So you can check the live pricing. And if you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Next up is the Asus Republic of Gamer Strix G15, a nice, thick, well-designed laptop, comes with the Ryzen 7, either the 5800H or the 6800H, depending on the sale you can find. The RTX 3050 Ti, I think this one is better than the HP Victus because it's gonna have more power with that Ryzen 7 over the i5-12500H. So just keep that in mind, this is a good bang for buck. One of my favorite laptops, again, another fantastic laptop in regards to SolidWorks, both the Asus Zephyrus G14 and the Lenovo Legion 7 Slim have AMD equipped CPU and GPU and SolidWorks loves AMD GPUs. So these two laptops perform on par with other laptops costing anywhere from three to $7,000. And these are both under the $2,000 price point. And on sale, I think you could get even better sale. So honestly, my favorite laptops in the entire video, best bang for buck, are going to be the Lenovo Legion 7 Slim and the Asus Zephyrus G14. So if you're wondering, Ben, what are your favorites? 
Those are my favorites. My third favorite would probably be the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro and 5i Pro. They have great performance. They've shown off amazing in the benchmark results. And if you can get an RTX 3070 version, you're gonna blow a lot of laptops out of the water that are a thousand or even $2,000 more in price. Now the next laptops you're gonna see on this lineup are all i7 processors. They have RTX 3060s or above, and they are all well built and great performers for 3D modeling. Now they are not great performers for SolidWorks. They're good performers for SolidWorks. If you're gonna get SolidWorks, like I said, AMD, or workstation GPUs, which will be on the next slide. But these are great laptops, have great performance, and I often see them on sale during the holiday season. Next up is the Apple MacBook Pro lineup. I personally don't love to recommend Apple MacBook Pros for 3D modeling. Most of the softwares that you'll be using for 3D modeling are not native on Apple Silicon. So with that in mind, I don't think they're the best purchase. However, there's still great laptops, and if you want to run an Rosetta emulation or you want to run your laptop on Parallels, it could be a good fit. But still, you're going to have a little bit of a bottleneck because they weren't built for Apple chips. They were built for x86, so just keep that in mind. x86 is the, the Windows platform. High-end workstations plus SolidWorks laptops, all the laptops on this lineup come with workstation GPUs. These are gonna be the best laptops for 3D modeling and specifically SolidWorks. They all have killer performance, they all have high powerful CPUs and GPUs, but as you can see, they start to get pretty pricey with these workstation GPUs, which is why I think the AMD G14 and the AMD Slim 7 are fantastic bang for buck laptop. If you're gonna be using SolidWorks, here are the best bang for buck laptops. If you don't wanna go and commit to a workstation GPU, which will put you well over the $3,000 price point. All the laptops on this lineup are under $2,000. And so definitely take a look, consider these laptops. One that didn't make the list just because I couldn't fit it was the Lenovo Legion 7 Slim. So you have the Lenovo Legion 7 on here, very powerful, fantastic laptop, but keep in mind, you could also get the Slim version, which is gonna be a little bit less Less powerful than the Lenovo Legion 7. The Lenovo Legion 7 has a 12 gig equipped VRAM card. Very powerful, very great option. But all of these are AMD and AMD equipped laptops and I think would make fantastic best bang for buck laptops or solid work. Comment below and let me know which laptop you are considering. I'm super curious. Also links to check the live price each. You can check out what the prices are right now. And if you make a purchase, I'll get a small commission and I'm grateful when y'all use those links. Don't forget to subscribe because we're gonna be giving away three Lenovo Legion 5 Pros once we pass 100,000 subscribers. I'll see y'all here in the next video.